Martin Luther King Jr. by Donna Herrick, a biography of civil rights activist, Martin Luther King Jr. Table of Contents, Unfair, page 3, Where Low Was Central, page 5, Growing Up, page 8, Ministry, page 12, Civil Rights, page 16, King Timeline, page 23, Glossary, page 24. Unfair. Martin came home one day feeling sad. His good friend would not play with him. The boy's father told him not to play with Martin because Martin had dark skin. Martin's parents hugged him. They told him about unfair things that happened to them too because of their skin color. They said that sometimes fear and hatred make people do terrible things. What are civil rights? They are the freedoms given to all citizens, such as freedom of speech, freedom to vote, and freedom to assemble peacefully. Martins knew these things were wrong. He wanted to make things better. He said, I'm going to turn the world upside down. Martin grew up to be Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the great civil rights leader, and he did turn the world upside down. Names. Martin was first named Michael, like his father. They both changed their name to Martin, perhaps in honor of Martin Luther, a religious leader from long ago. But Martin's family did not call him Michael or Martin. They call him ML, just like they called the brother AD for Adam Daniel. Where Law was central. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. Martin's home was happy. He and his sister, Kristen, and brother AD fell in love all around them. Martin wrote that his home was a place where love was central. But the world outside Martin's home was not always filled with love. African Americans were not allowed the same rights as other people. This suffered because of other people's hatred and fear. Once when Martin was fitting, he was riding a full bus. Some white people got on and Martin had to give them his seat. He rode the bus for 90 minutes while standing. He was so angry. The law said that Martin had to give up his seat, but the law was unfair and unjust. Growing up, Martin's father was a Baptist minister, and his mother, Alberta, was a teacher and musician. Martin's father went to college, even though a few African Americans then had a chance to go. Segregation is separating people by their skin color and keeping all of the public things they can use separate, such as bathrooms, drinking, fountains, movie, theaters, and schools. Almost always what African Americans were given to use was not as good as what other people had. Martin's parents taught him through their examples. They never shopped where they were treated badly and they worked hard to end segregation. Martin was bright. He skipped two grades and started college young. Martin was a talented speaker, too. One speech he gave in school was about slavery in the United States. He said it was especially wrong because Africans believe all people are created free and equal. Love for books. Martin loved to read and he spent a lot of time doing it. His father said he kept books around him. He just liked the idea of having them. Ministry. Martin went to Morehouse College in Atlanta. He then went to a college in Boston to become a minister, and a third college to become a doctor of theology. When he graduated, he became Dr. King. 
in Boston, Martin met a beautiful music student named Coretta Scott. They were married and had four children. After college, Martin began working as a minister. Later, he joined the father as a pastor of Evanser Baptist Church in Atlanta. In college, Martin heard about Mohandas Gandhi. Gandhi worked to free India from unfair British rules, but he did not start a war to do it. He led peaceful march and boycotts. He broke unfair laws. Gandhi was often arrested and threatened, but he kept working peaceful until India was free. Martin liked Gandhi's ideas. He decided to do the same things to help free African Americans from unfair laws and bad treatments. Civil Rights On December 1, 1955, Rosa Parks was riding a full bus in Montgomery, Alabama. When white people got on the bus, she was told to give up her seat. She said no. Police arrested her. Martin was asked to lead a boycott on Montgomery buses. Many African Americans chose not to ride them for many months. Finally, the United States Supreme Court said it is illegal to segregate buses. Martin led many causes in the civil rights movement. He marched and gave speeches. Martin was arrested and threatened many times. Once he was stabbed and nearly died. His house was bombed too. But Martin just said, we must meet hate with love. He kept on marching and preaching about peace and nonviolence. In 1963, about 250,000 people marched to Washington, D.C. to talk about freedom. It was called the March on Washington. Martin gave his famous I Have a Dream speech there. He talked about his dream that one day, all people would join together in peace and freedom. Martin saw many good changes in his life, but he did not live to see the day he dreamed about. On April 4, 1968, he was shot and killed while speaking from his motel balcony in Memphis, Tennessee. He was only 39 years old. The night before he died, Martin gave a speech and said, he was not worried about his death. He knew the promised land was coming, a place where all of his dreams will come true. Martin's birthday is now a national holiday. Almost every major city around the country has a school, park, or street named after him. The King Center in Atlanta helped to continue Martin's work for civil justice for all people through nonviolence. Martin Luther King Jr. is a true American hero. He did indeed turn the world upside down. Martin Luther King Jr. Timeline Glossary Important Vocabulary Finished Book